Okay, welcome back to Parapod. Uh, today I like to make a relative long video um, because what uh, need to be explained is, is a lot, right? It's uh, but you're gonna learn a lot, right? So today um, uh, we are presenting um, a, a retrofit. You know, this is this is the design we we don't want to do. But because of the, something happened, then we see the need, right? We see the need to do it. Uh, you know. A anyways, by looking at this structure, you can recognize this is uh, this uh, resemble the so-called Chinese-style passive solar house. You know, this is simply uh, a profile we grab from. Uh, a video and then uh, you know to see to demonstrate how to uh, you know if this is a existing uh, you know uh, Chinese uh, greenhouse you know then how to retrofit you know how to uh, 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 you know simply use the same structure okay the exact same structure you know uh, yeah uh, and then to uh, build uh, you know to to incorporate the solar roof uh, you know technology you know into this structure okay so this morning and Richard uh, Nelson and uh, Young and me you know three of us you know we spend uh, roughly two hours you know then to we come up with uh, a solution right how can we uh, you know taking the structure, you know, this is the structure, right? And uh, we, you know, the the Chinese, uh, you know, use right, or some people use here, you know, they import from China, they get the structure, right, and then build, then they build the rest, rest uh, themselves, right, or even get the, you know, covering. But w what I'm, what uh, we're showing is to base on the structure, you know. In a case when, for example, the the existing covering, uh, you know, the fabric deteriorate, and you want to replace it, right? You have to remove the whole thing, right? And so that's the time, uh, that's the moment you should consider, you know, using the backbone, and uh, to to you know simply that's the you know best moment to you know to uh, uh, to have uh, incorporate uh, our design you know this one into the structure you know I'll quickly explain how it works actually very simple very simple uh, you know if you to truly understand how it works then you'll be amazed at how come nobody's doing this or nobody's showing how to do this right so um, yeah so this is uh, uh, what we we do. So basically, we divide the whole um, uh, uh, greenhouse structure into uh, basically two sections. One is the arc, you know, the south-facing arc, you know, like this type of, you know, uh, you know, got, uh, yeah, structure uh, uh, profile. You know, this is one section. We call it the south-facing panel. You know, you can. You know, and then the rest, the rest is another section. You know, so um, um, for the rest, this is the north wall, right? This is the west wall, and that the other side is the the east, right? Uh, so in this design, we make the door to be on the west side. You know, you can change it, right? If you, yeah. You can put it on the on the other side, or you can put two doors, right? Uh, that's okay. But um, in this design, we only show that the uh, the fans, you know, the bubble production, uh, you know, just from one section, just from this place, and then that's enough to make enough bubbles to push around, you know, go around and fill the entire, you know, the this uh, this three side section right the envelope yeah so uh, as you can see the holes for fan is here so the fan uh, will be on the right hand side and then they, they blow air inside so uh, and this is simply like a duct right a channel right and then 
uh, and then create a, 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 a pressurized space, right? And then we see this uh, uh, screen. This uh, actually could be uh, the entire surface, this uh, slope, right? Could be a screen, or you can drill some holes, right? One, two, three, four, or three, you know, or four. Uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, that's the detail, right? And then, then uh, you uh, uh, simply, uh, you know, uh, place the uh, sprayer, right, uh, on uh, over the top, and then spray the soap liquid, uh, you know, solution, and to cover the screen, right? Because this is a pressurized space, so the air will push it out, right? Create the bubbles. So the bubble blowing take place on this plane, right? So the bubbles are produced, you know, here, you know, and then so fill this this area first, and then the uh, you know the air continue uh, blow in, right? Blow lots of bubbles in here, so will push you know the, the the bubbles you know this way. So the bubble. Actually, if you can imagine, the bubble will flow along uh, the north wall, the lower part of north wall, right? Um, yeah, and uh, I need to uh, to uh, yeah go this way. Yeah, um, so the bubble will push, you know, along the way, push, push, going this way, you know, go around the corner, and then fill this part and then you know fill you know to a point then there's no way to go or there's only one way to go to go up okay so that's why it's it's better to you know let the bubble go this way and then push up right and then up you know continue fill it's all filled right and can you go around the corner coming back along the uh, north side wall and then simply I'll go around the corner, same thing, right? The screen is here, the lower part, right? And this is the, you know, air. And so the bubble will continue to push, 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 and fill this area. There's no way to go. And they, they, they gather together here. And here, there's still no way to go because the air is drawing through, right? So the bubble will, will go through the fan. Okay, this is the magic point. This is the point where the bubbles are, you know, crushed, right, uh, broken, right, into air uh, by the fan, you know. So, uh, because there's no uh, liquid, I mean, no spraying here, the spraying is, is, is happening here, right, so simply bubbles. So the, when the bubble, you know, goes through the fan, the fan will break it up, right, so the liquid and the air separate, right, and then that's complete the cycle, right? So this is the uh, place that um, you know there will be uh, some liquid gathering, you know, and um, you know this is you know this is the place, uh, you know. So uh, you know we're gonna give you the detail, right? The soap liquid tank, the small tank should be can be here, and uh, and also uh, you know liquid accumulation, right? Uh, um, but uh, this is the actually uh, should be insulated because this is the air part, right? Um, but anyway, that's just uh, give you a general idea. So you see, simply by design, by using the existing uh, structure and build uh, a wall, you know, one meter apart. Uh, this the distance is one meter. You know, just make it simple. You know, one meter. You know, this is the, yeah. It, you know, you can. This is a big gap. You can even walk. You know, walk in, walk through, right? So and and by creating this huge uh, 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 thick blanket and fill with bubble, we can easily uh, you know uh, create the you know highest you know insulation. Uh, for your greenhouse and uh, wrap around, you know, and then same thing for the south-facing uh, roof, you know. Uh, then we do uh, similar things. Uh, we create sections simply. So basically, we use two um, uh, 
you know, two uh, the metal structure, you know, two, one, uh, three, while two, and then uh, because there's nothing underneath, right? It's just a uh, arc, right? So um, curvature, right? And then yes, we create a you know like a bag thing, you know, it's hanging from the top, right? So um, and then there's a path, you know, this is a, a great uh, wide, really wide duck, you know, basically a, a channel, right? Basically a channel, you know, totally empty, right? And um, so this in this time in this case the fan will be here on the right hand side and blow air into this region you know and this region in this region we simply use this area as the screen you know we use a, a reticulated you know foam to cover this right uh, make this the screen and the sprayer will be at the bottom you know spray to the top right you can drill holes or you can use the whole area as long as you can make sure the soap liquid spray and cover the entire surface and that's fine right and then you can blow bubbles right so and then so we can imagine you know the bubble a lot of bubble will be produced here and then uh, you know the, the air will blow them up right more as more bubbles created then they squeeze up you know and then when it got reached to the top you know fill the entire area right because remember I show in the video that you know it's a uh, very sticky when you make the small bubbles right then they are very sticky to each other so and then and nowhere to go but only to go sideways so there's a hole here a square hole you know simply a square hole and let's go sideways and fill this area and the liquid you know some will turn to liquid right liquid will fall down right but bubbles won't fall down right because they're sticky so they, they will just you know like a snake you know coming down you know slightly right and push push it down and then down to to here right and then when there's nowhere to go right and the fan keep pulling air so then the bubble will go through so when at the moment when the bubbles go through the fan that's the moment you feel the entire uh, cavities you know two section completely filled right so you know this is how it works then it circulate if you don't stop the fan and the spring right then the whole process keep you know keep going so you you see the you know uh, some some movement right by the air right so that's how it is and the same thing over here we don't we we couldn't see because this is actually a new wall you know this has you know should be in dark color actually uh, but anyway so the same thing over here you know just another uh, fan here and then producing bubbles from here and pushing up you know the hole here and push and going down right and the same here so keep going and it won't cost a lot of uh, consume a lot of electricity because you uh, fill the entire cavities uh, roughly around you know a few minutes only and then you stop then uh, after maybe two or three hours you need to fill right so uh, and and uh, the actual time depends on the how you make everything so you can you know judge uh, on site you know how many hours you need to refill right so so you, you see the the fan and the 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 pump only work for a few minutes and then it stop then everything you know the, the bubble stay there and doing its magic work you know to insulate the whole structure right so that's how it how it works and uh, obviously in summertime you don't uh, you know there's other you know choices right if you want more for example in summertime you want more sunshine coming so you don't fill with bubbles so when you don't fill the bubbles uh, you know then the entire structure is transparent right and, and in summertime when you see the sun is you know going this way right very steep and then you need a shade then you fill with bubble to create a shade but it won't stop the sunlight coming in so you still get full sunlight for growth right but you 
transfer the red light, you know, the the solar thermal uh, uh, energy, you know, and uh, into a heat form and then store in the uh, liquid tank, right? So this is how you collect solar thermal energy, store it in, uh, you know, uh, liquid, uh, you know, uh, soap tank, and then and when the night time comes, you simply fill the entire, you know, uh, envelope with bubbles to uh, stop the heat from escaping, right? So whatever you heat, you gather, you capture during the day, then you can use it during the night. And for that reason, you don't need actual heat, right? So this, this, this we shows that this is, and this is better than, uh, this is not passive solar, this is actually proactive solar because you know, we have the bubbles, you know, we're moving bubbles, you know, dynamic bubbles, you know, uh, when you need it, then you create them, right? When you do, don't need them, you, you, you know, you uh, simply destroy, destroy them, right? You, you know, simply by not spraying, simply by, you know, let the bubbles, you know, going through the fan, and then it, you break the whole bubbles, right? And then you can turn the entire structure you know uh, transparent you know that's uh, how it, how it is you know so i'm i'm sure that uh, you know once you understand uh, you know this when you, you see how it works you know you you know right this is so simple you know this is bloody simple you know yeah if you can still understand this you know uh, you know that means you know you need to really uh, think right you need to ask questions right and uh, so, uh, and then we like to help, you know. And uh, we, I, as as we, uh, you know, said before, you know, this is um, we encourage DIY, right? If you truly understand what it is, right? I encourage you to build it yourself, right? Without paying us, right? You know, we just this is because what why we do this? We just want the the whole world to know about this technology. We want you know those who are handy. Uh, you know, they build it themselves, right? And then benefit themselves, right? But if you not handy, and if you want, to, you know, to someone else to build it, right? You can hire someone to build it, right? Or you can order product from us, right? Yeah, so anyway, so we can, yeah, we, we show that uh, how we do it. By the way, um, uh, for our own, um, you know, we, we also have this type type of structure design, right? This this is um, you know uh, looks nicer and also a small, right? And it's also uh, fit a backyard easily. You know this is uh, the one we promote. Um, you know, but if you have existing Chinese style, uh, you know greenhouse, you want to you know do some retrofitting, and then. Uh, then you can you know you know refer to this design okay so anyway so hope you like it and hope you uh, understand uh, you know this time <laughs> this video will help you understand how it is and uh, yeah if you still don't understand ask questions you know you know uh, you know I, I will post this uh, into my use uh, YouTube channel uh, my rumble channel so I will ask question you know i will if we have time or we can you know uh, we like to an uh, answer your questions you right? know and i'm i'm glad that you know the inventor uh richard nelson uh, is, is with us right he's helping us this is actually his uh invention and he's uh personally uh helping us to do this retrofitting right to uh, to design this, you know, and then so you know, obviously he, uh, yeah, he know all things, you know, he because since 1980s, you know, he started, you know, um, working on this, and uh, he got six patents uh, on his this technology, uh, but he like to keep it, uh, you know, open source. I mean, the idea, uh, I mean, you know, if you want to build it for yourself, then you don't pay a penny, right? But if you want to commercialize, then we need to talk, right? And that's uh, talk to us, the Parapod. You know, and my name's uh, by the way, it's <laughs> Aubrey uh, Aubrey Jang. 
and uh, uh, I like to, um, yeah, uh, the, the reason we do this, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, for, for free, you know, for, to present this, you know, to the whole world to see, if, you know, we want, the, you know, people to use it, right? People to use it, uh, you know, to, to even prove that it works, right? So that's why we're so excited, you know, uh, yeah, you know, uh, about this and um, we, we, we like to, uh, you know, once we believe that once the China adopt this, then, uh, you know, uh, retrofit the existing uh, greenhouse and then stop producing the uh, energy inefficient uh, greenhouses, right? And then, you know, that will do, you know, great work for the whole environment, right? Because, you know, uh, because this is the cheapest way and this is the most efficient way and this is the way to use the free solar energy you know free solar energy you know simply just use a little bit uh, tech you know electricity for, even you can use a, a few uh, solar panels to produce the electricity needed to power the the fan and power the uh, yeah the pump right so um, yeah, so yeah, uh, that's why we like it so much and uh, we don't hide anything. We, you know, open up and make it transparent, right? It is transparent, right? Uh, it is simple, right? Bloody simple, right? Uh, yeah, so if still you cannot um, see how it works, then you need to <laughs> think about it, right? You need to <laughs> truly, you know, uh, ask questions, right? And make, make and and then I'm sure you know if if you truly understand how it how it is you know I I'm sure most people can do it you know uh, if you still cannot right then we have the you know uh, the product you know we have the full line design and uh, yeah and also we have this demonstrated you know right so this is I think it's enough you know for many people enough for them to start from here okay that's good so yeah uh, we'll see you next time um, make sure if you don't understand it ask questions and also make sure you su subscribe my channel because we're gonna produce more channels you know next phase we're gonna you know uh, uh, we're gonna build um, uh, you know build manufacture you know this one uh, basically and uh, you know um, and then you know and set up in my backyard and uh, to to demonstrate it's working and to at that time I'm going to set up you know same thing I'm going to measure four temperatures right show how the plant growing growing right I'm doing aquaponics and sandponics uh, you know so to show how the fish is is, is doing right and uh, so uh, everybody can see so and that's our way to demonstrate it truly work and it's so bloody simple okay so see you next time true it but it has the screen yeah and nozzles yeah so we become the experts at how these components are are designed yeah you know yeah uh, and this system will be used for in in city park right Yes, yes. Yeah. It so now uh, as it's a now wasted here. Yeah, it's similar yeah, idea. Yeah, it's it's always a general idea. Yeah. So what what we did with PowerPod is a very custom idea. This was always the big box idea, the very simple structure. Yeah, yeah. Vertical. Bigger, easy, e easier. <laughs> I call it the big the big box, right? Yeah, big and box. It's so simple. It's yeah. really really simple. Yeah. Pyropod, by comparison, is much more complex. Yeah, because the shape. The shape, but yeah. it's much more beautiful. Yeah. The shape is beautiful. Sure. So, you know, a big box is just a box. Nobody's interested in it. Yeah. But a pyropod is beautiful. Okay, so that's it. So Meiji show a screen, right, on the left hand side, and this this mm -hmm. side, the right hand side is open, that's and then right. the other, and uh, then the other, it's a hole, and then yeah, we can just simply yeah and yeah on on stop here and then right, 
And then I can make a simple video explaining. You, you can uh, do that, yeah. I forgot a... recording. <laughs> right now. <laughs> now I'm yeah. recording. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Can we put the door on the east or west side, you know? This side? Yeah, yeah. It's same thing, you know, it just, right? Yes, you could put it on the north, or you could put it on the east or the west side. Yeah. The idea. You put the door right there, and bubbles can flow away from the door. Yeah, same, you know. Then we uh, don't have to worry about that, you know, that street. And this side, what do we do here? Yeah, so they, okay, here's how it goes. They they flow, so there's a doorway. Um, we put it right in the corner. So we put the doorway right against the corner. Yay. Two and a half meters high. Yeah, yeah. just like, there it is. And we can make it wide, right? Just yeah, in case. make it wide. You just pick, pick, pick it. Yeah, the, the, the farmer one, wide door, yeah. A wide door. So we make it Double five door, meters, yeah. Four meters, well, sorry, three meters wide. Yeah. Uh, it's two and a half meters high and three meters wide yeah or at least two and a half meters wide yeah, yeah. three meters wide. so that's the doorway so now the bubbles can go as you see over the top of the doorway right yeah the flow of the bubbles can come yeah. around they don't have to interrupt the see the pathway uh that and it's a one meter wide uh, cavity yeah that's it it goes and the bubbles continue you see flowing over the door one meter deep now really deep you know um two and a half meters deep one meter one and a half meters this is really insulated right it's one and a half meters deep mm -hmm. and you know wide and and two and a half meters deep and it's flowing and then that that the partition right has to be designed the the middle fabric is is also holding the bubbles in the top area, you know, the middle fabric, right? Holds the bubbles in the top until we end and then they drop into the bottom, right? They drop from the top into the bottom part. Somewhere along this wall, we stop. So try to think of the bubble cavity now as one big space, right? Remember how we did the north wall? We look at it as one big rectangle at first. Yeah. Right. So you make a big cavity on the end wall here. That's one and a half meters wide. Just, you know, look at it from the end wall side kind of thing. That's yeah. it. And the bubbles are flowing into that cavity. Think of it as a, just a big cavity space, right? Big empty space. It's covered with the fabric material on both faces, right? The outside face, inside face. So actually covered. we need to make an add-on section. It's not... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we... that's right. We need to add a... Yeah. like one and a half one and a half or one meter if yeah we, so this is one then, meter then, then we can still keep everything the you know the same you know yeah okay okay let's do that let's not go with the regular spacing one and a half meters let's go with just one meter but it's a like a double yeah arc. it's a double arch right at the yeah. end wall yeah no it's a single a double a double arch at the end wall right double arch yeah only only one meter spacing you know the other ones are one and a half meter right one is is going to be a, a second yeah, there. of the metal arching at one meter space and the outside's covered with fabric the inside covered with fabric between we have a cavity right and again it's the same kind of thing we want to create an upper cavity and a lower cavity. Oh, oh yeah. So we add another. Yeah, panel. this the, the partition we had. Remember Space. before it was one meter wide, right? The partition. One meter. Wide. So and it is it is theoretically one meter because you know what it, it, we zipper it so it comes back to the one meter. Yeah. Right. Post tension. It's not something that's um, noticeable uh, except, uh, you know, uh, out in the span of the fabrics. You know, when you're close to the framing, it's one meter. It's yeah. when you're away from the frame support. So the door is a doorway now. Yes, it is. It's a portal. Yeah, portal. Through Same the thing. bubble. Yeah. Through the bubble cavity. It's right. a portal. Right. Yeah. 
so what we did for for the Fairfield one, we we used the door. So let's say if the door was actually if the door was actually only two meters high. We use the we use the half a meter as a channel for the bubbles to flow in the lower cavity, but over top of the door. Mm. You know, so so the door the flow at the top of the cavity is smooth, right? Just turns the corner. It's coming coming down the so, north wall. So young, uh, when do you have to go? Mm. Ten. It's okay. 10 now. <laughs> okay. Or 10 30? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just, you know, rough, do the rough, you know, rough, yeah. Yeah, rough, rough idea? Yeah, rough so, idea, maybe. So when the fan is sucking the bubbles, there is a important uh, sort of factor. Over top of the door, let's make a channel. Um, you know, we've got that middle partition right the middle partition is still there yeah now yeah that's it that's it so extend that around the corner you know take that middle partition and bring it around the corner and into the end wall yeah yeah like that yeah that's it so it's going across right you know uh, making the upper upper portion and lower portion right <clears throat> that's the divider so we break it around there where you're yeah we won't go right to the end of course we break that yeah, somewhere it. in the middle of the south wall of the end wall that 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 yeah sheets coming across there and we stop it somewhere you know yeah I don't around know. there yeah I yeah that's it that's the line okay Okay, so we, we take that and we actually extend it across, let's say, uh, towards, you see where it starts to, the arches come down, right? So we're kind of compressing the shape. The question is, where do we stop that, you know, sheet, right? We can stop it anywhere, actually, right? As soon as we stop that sheet, the bubbles fall, right? The bubbles are up in the top. And as soon mm -hmm. as we stop the sheet, the bubbles will fall into the bottom. Uh, and because because it's a U-turn, yeah. they're going to press into the turn, right? It's a U-turn. Yeah, good cut. So they're going to press into the turn. So I would pull that back quite a good ways. You know, I would not. I would let them fall fairly soon. So let's say we make that sheet extend it out. See how wide the door is, like two or three times the length. No, no, you don't break it there. That's continuous. Yeah, that's don't, continuous. That's continuous all the way around the corner. The right hand side. He's talking all about right hand side. Right hand side. That's where we stop it. We'll pull that back. You know, pull it back. Get more room. Meters, like three meters, four meters, five meters. Push it back. Push where? Yeah, that one. Yeah, pull it back towards there. Yeah, take it back. As soon as you know, as soon as we uh, stop that, the bubbles will fall, right? Yeah. So pull it. Let's stop it way back, like far from the end. Right now, it's going all the way to yes. yeah. Take more. More, 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 more. Yeah. More. Okay, somewhere around there. We'll yeah. Stop that sheet, right? That sheet that's connecting to the inside sheet, right? That's that's getting a top cavity and a bottom cavity. No. So we stop it about there. What are the bubbles going to do? They're going to fall, right? Yeah. But they're going to push. They continue to push. Yeah. And they will fill in, and yeah. then they'll start, and then they'll start to flow towards the bubble machine, towards the door. Towards the right? door, yeah. and then the bubble machine. <clears throat> and what we did is we put the fan on top of the door. You see? If you if you have a portal for the doorway, right? Yeah. And you have the sheet there. So we got two sheets. We got a sheet across the top of the doorway, and we got this other sheet, the partition sheet. You know, the main sheet. Yeah. That separates the top and bottom. 
So what you've got is you've got like a duct in between them now. You created a duct between, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Between the top of the door and that sheet is is like a duct, one yeah. meter, one meter by, one by. So one. so we draw a round hole there. Yeah. Well, that that's where Look the bubbles from the no the bubbles no longer exist in this space. So you mean here? Yeah, here. Yeah, that's empty space now. Yeah. That becomes empty because we're going to kill the bubbles as yeah. we pull them in there. So we're going to have like the bubble panel, the you know what I call the fan panel, right? Where the where the where the bubble machine is, where the fans are. So the panel now is right there um, beside the top of the door. Yeah, not the, over the top of the door, but right beside the yeah, yeah there there. So make the end of that duct, right, over top of the door. Yeah, the, this, yes, there, that's where the panel is. That's the bubble, that's the fan panel. The fan is there. And oh. so, yeah, the, we're gonna pull the bubbles into that duct with the fan. It's, uh, yeah, and uh, you know, because it's, we have a limited space, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe two. <clears throat> so we might have two fan units. Yeah, two fan, side by side. Uh, side by side, two fan units. Powerful, powerful. Uh, you know, uh, wheel fan units. You know, yeah. those ones with the wheel. Two of those, and they can do the f bubble generating easily, right? Easily, yeah. they can manage. Yeah. So they pull the bubbles in, so you can see we're pulling from the top of the bottom cavity, right? Mm. So the bubbles will come right up to the top there, right? And the air, the last bit of air will go in when we're making bubbles. And on the opposite side, we have a bubble screen. Yeah. Oh. No, no, that's no, the top. No, the opposite. Door. Opposite yeah. of the... On the other side of the door, in in the north wall there, there yeah. yeah that's the screen there but you know that might not be enough screen so what we do is we do a kind of a plenum for the air to get more screen area it's kind of just beside the doorway it's like a plenum beside the doorway there where we get more screen area available right because that's cavity space over there beside the door Right? It's filled with bubbles, except where we have the screen. So what I'm saying is we can create a space where we have more screen area if we want. And don't forget, it's filling the bottom cavity, right? All the bubbles we're making will fall downward and go downward first, right? Mm -hmm. Filling in the bottom can't go above, right? Because there's that barrier. Yeah. The tie, the, the fabric. Yeah. Um, partition. So let's say that's enough screen area for now, okay? But okay. I don't think it is. But we'll figure that out later, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. The bubbles, as you see, will go into the bottom cavity. Yeah, right? flowing yeah. bottom. We take away the bubble machine where we had it before. Right. We, all of that now, we take it away. I'm sorry. But in some cases, right, we'll have that design. That, yeah. that still might be a valid design for some situation. Yeah. But now, now we have a different... Um, yeah, a different design for the bubble machine. Yeah, but but the tension still works the same way. Yeah, the tension is still there, right? So see see that angle that we have. I have a feeling that that the angle see the angle of the skin. Yeah, don't don't extrude that. That, that oh, we need to pull that out, right? Pull. That's just empty space. No, that's just empty space, right? Right. Where the air can come out. And we know the air is going to exit there over from over top of the door, but it's going to e exit into a plenum, what I call a plenum, which is a pressurized space. Let, let's look at the end wall and the shape of the fabric there at the end wall. The shape. See the shape of that fabric? See that angle? See that, that hip roof? Yeah, that angle at the bottom. See the bottom? That could be where the screen is. Oh. That could be the screen. You see, what uh, we're doing is we're pressurizing the space, 
-hmm. and we're providing a screen that the air can get through. So let's let's draw a sheet of material that is on that slope. See the slope of that inside this. Yeah, yeah. Inside. That's right. That whole slope area is a screen. Is a screen, or what we call the screen? Um, what do we call it? The fan. It's it's the. Um, Anyway, so it's not necessarily all porous, right? Right? There's areas of that of yeah. that surface. The areas of that surface will be porous. And we'll position nozzles to shoot on that surface area, right? Yeah. Well there there could be a big oval a big oval area here. A big oval area of that surface. Or a square area. Or whatever. Or two circles or multiple circles. Yeah, that are, that are yeah. green. Yeah, medical circle. Cir circle is better, right? Just for cone circle. spray nozzle, area. There, so if we have three circles or two circles, maybe yeah. two circles is enough. Two big circles, because it's pretty big. It's a meter, you know. And, um, you know, anyway, whatever we have, we have a nozzle shooting on the screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll cover, cover the screen with droplets. Right, and the bubbles yeah. will push uh, along the, the the lower cavity space, right? Yeah. And and remember, there is that uh, partition which we can see at the top of the screen. Oh, panel. Yeah, the screen panel, right? So we can talk about this as a screen panel because it's not all screen. So there's area of screen. Yeah, yeah, area of screen yeah. panel. So at the very top of the screen panel there, we have the extension of that horizontal sheet. Yeah. Right? It goes around the corner. Yeah, around the corner, yeah. so we stop. Extend Let's go this way. Yeah. Around the corner. Um, it, it, it is the partition, so the bubbles or the air cannot escape from this plenum. Right. Pressurized plenum. The air can only go out through the screen area. Right. So that's a continuous and, and uh, pressure type, right? So the zipper, if we have a zipper still, but probably we don't, right? Because we don't really need a zipper there. It's, it's just a sheet of material that is um, uh, put into this area <clears throat> and uh, keeps the pressure uh, in the plenum, the bubble plen the bubble generating machine. Yeah. So now you see that we have a we have a door at the corner, and we'll have a corner a corner um, wall system. In the corner, we're mm -hmm. going to create. A we're going to create an insulated wall that hides the bubble plenum behind it. See? So exterior to all of what we're doing right now, we build a, a bubble, I'm sorry, a insulated wall that covers this. Mm. Yeah, that's it. So no one can see the arrangement. Yeah. Uh, where is the bubble? Where is the fan? <laughs> where, where is the screen? <laughs> because it's hidden. Yeah. In it's... A corner, this corner construction. Yeah. And we'll make the corner together with the door. Yeah. And then we, when we service, right, we can then go in there. Yeah. Do some service. Yeah. Because yeah. See, the door goes through that as yeah, well. Yeah. Right? right. The portal and over top of the door is part of the plenum, is where we have the plenum. That's pressure. That's a duct, right, for the air to flow. Yeah. And, and the air flows is being pushed in by the fan, and it's pressurizing that corner area in the lower cavity, right? The lower cavity space <clears throat> is where we're going to have the screen, so we generate the bubbles. Yep. That's uh, yep. That's it. <clears throat> oh, I got a low battery. <laughs> wow. We, we I think Young knows, yeah, right? Yeah. You know how it yeah. works, yeah, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
right. Yeah, it, it, the 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 blow the air, yeah. yeah. Create yeah. A tension the, there. There's where we pressurize. Right, right? pressurize that up. space. So that space is empty, right? It's not yeah. insulated because yeah. there's no bubbles in there. Yeah. So actually, so that fan could be far away, right? Yeah. Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. That's why it can be. Or maybe we can move the fans to here. It can. It can be there, except then you're going to create more suction. You see. Yeah. Oh. You know, then then that area over top of the door will be in put into a real suction, right? So I feel the top is where we pull the bubbles and destroy them right away. Oh. I see oh. over there. And then we're pressurizing with air. See, bubbles don't flow as well as air. Yeah. They don't flow as well as air. Right. So it's better to break the bubbles before they go into that duct. Right? And what we're having inside is air. Right? Okay. Not bubbles. See, otherwise we're pulling bubbles and there will be a resistance to this. Right, yeah. Pulling the bubbles into that narrow. So you're saying it's better yeah. this way. Yeah, you see the bubbles are free in the big channel, right? Right. To come to the fan unit. Yeah. Just come and float. But if if the fan is in that duct, the bubbles have to squeeze into the duct. Yeah, float. yeah, yeah. Then uh, it's hard, very hard. Yeah. It, it, bubbles have resistance. You yes, know, bubble. Air knows resistance. Yeah. Zero resistance for the air. Yeah. And it's, uh, also, you want to pressurize that space. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So this is fine. <clears throat> so we'll see, right? At yeah. least this is a good. And and again, when you look at that Fairfield, notice that in the corners of the building, yeah, these structures, we did this. This oh. is a, this. So when I you see. look, I video, I couldn't tell. Yeah, that's hard hard to tell. You look, <clears throat> you look at the video, and you're gonna say, "What? Well, where is the bubble machine? I can't see it." Yeah, <laughs> it, it's hidden. <laughs> It's hidden behind fiberglass. Yeah, no wonder structures that we build. Right. Okay. And you're going to look at that um, and say, "Well, now you're going to understand what is that thing." Yeah. So going here, here, going this, coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Wow. This is. And we have another. What about this side? side? It's just as a mirror. Uh, oh no! Sorry. It's just a U-turn. It goes all the way around and comes back. Oh, oh right. Right, okay. right, right. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Going there. If it if it gets or maybe big, it's too long. We can yeah, add. Yeah. If it gets very long, you're yeah. going to make a break in the middle, and but, do it toward each. But end. just for this, just a demonstration to show how it right way. So yeah. maybe just you know, just as a path. A, yeah. Yeah. So, just as because there's idea. no door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No door. Yeah, no door, so it's just, just two sections, you know, same thing. And, and and we could figure out how to do another door on this side and do another bubble machine. Oh, that, yeah. That would work in tandem with the other one, so they would both be going in the same direction, right? Mm. Each one would push bubbles. Uh, one would push into the into the this uh, bottom, and the other one would be pushing toward the top. I see, I see, I see, yeah. Okay. Same, same idea, basically. Same idea, but yeah. When w the bubble screen is at the top side, that's that's why that uh, tower, that corner construction, went all the way to the top, right? Yeah. Because sometimes we'd need a cover at the bottom. Sometimes we need cover at the top. Hmm. So it's a standard, right? It's a standard. Pushing unit. there, we coming back. Oh, I see. So it's a standard design for the corners of the buildings. Okay. To do the walls. But we don't have much time. Maybe just show the, you know, just show. Yeah, just a diagram. For the, yeah, diagram. Maybe not. Yeah, just showing that. Just, you know. Yeah. How you know? Just add a section there and just so the bu the bubble will coming from the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Going mm -hmm. around to the <clears> other <throat> side and up. And then yeah. coming to the back to the north wall and then coming back yeah there and if if we mirror this we can do tunnels yeah no wall you know 
So in other words, we say, well, you don't really need that high north wall. You can do a tunnel. So we just mirror this, right? Yeah. And we've got a south wall system and a north wall system. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Because bubbles on the north are fine. Yeah. We don't need this idea of an opaque north wall. Yeah, that's right. But, but this is our retrofit. This is for converting existing yeah. greenhouse of this design. Yeah. We convert them. Ooh, two doors. <laughs> Yeah. That's nice. So we press it use first or maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. And that yeah. screen, the screen is on the top part and we're pressurizing towards the top because the inflow will be at the top here. Right. Somehow. Right. We'll work that out, but we won't do those details now. Yeah. Just... But we'll work it out that, that in fact, the um, here it will be generating bubbles into the into the top portion of right. the cavity. Well, this could be, perhaps this could be a taller door, right? Oh, oh, Where? right. Taller door. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, it's like we're doing a lot all very <laughs> yeah, yeah. fast. Very, very fast. You, know, you, you can see that on, on our structures for Fairfield, we put the doors very carefully uh, to make a really efficient flow path. Okay. For the I see. So just look at that one again. Look at all, mm. you know, because yeah. And isn't this great that we have that video because, Aubrey, you can say to people, this isn't something we imagine we can do. Yeah, we, we have real thing. Yeah, we've done this. This is like easy for us to do. And they're still using it? Um, well, what happened is that because it was built um, oh, a long time ago, yeah, deteriorate, 20, yeah. More than 20 years, yeah. they, they changed the cover. Yeah. When they changed the cover, yeah. they put single skin on. Oh, no. <laughs> so, they couldn't, so they couldn't make bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too old, too, too old, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Too old, yeah. Material won't last that long. You know, the, the, the existing structure is so... Uh, you know, um, permanent. It's so uh, durable. Yeah. We we could go and put the cover system back on that structure. It worked perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So a very, very, you know, just little touch up, right? It's this. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. uh, over above the door. That should be a not a line, just a uh, plane, right? Yeah, plane. Yeah. Plane, and then then True. to yeah, right. Same idea yeah. as before. That will there. suck. That sucks in the the sides, right? Yeah. The, so it pulls them inward and makes yeah. a sort of a tensioning of the skin. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll still work even though it's not, uh, you know, this weird shape. Whew. Wow, this is nice. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I will so... quit. You go, young. <laughs> yeah. This okay. was a fantastic, uh, you know. Session. Yeah, just just finish the you know rough idea, and then then you know, yeah. I can yeah. make a video out of it. Okay. You know, just explain. You know, that doesn't have yeah. to show the details. Yeah. 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 All right. Wow. Very wonderful. Good, very good. Wow. Um, so you know, technically, technically speaking, it's uh, it can can work with any shape. Right. Oh, as yeah. long as you figure out, you know, you last give the path, right? Circulation. Yeah, that's right. Any yeah. any shape will work. Oh, this is yeah. It's you know, it's very very bubbles will go anywhere, you know. Yeah, anywhere. and some may even just instead of retrofitting, you know, why just make you know just use right same thing. I mean, just build a new one, right? This way. So mm -hmm. retrofitting mm -hmm. is just. Fit, retrofit existing structure, right? The yeah. other one is they say, oh yeah, I, you know, they they'll just build a new one this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's in in production, and they can then build tunnels. With, yeah, with a I mean, just they don't have to change the of, yeah. In, instead of a north wall where it is, we would have a column row. Yeah, and and we'd have a, a symmetric you know tunnel structure. Yeah, it's very efficient. Yeah, very efficient. 
and then you you find out you have to have pairs of of, of structure so you might have to extend it a little right, bit right pairs create yeah a, yeah create a full pairing of right of the pairing yeah is in in that area yeah so uh, hmm, mm -hmm. yeah pair yeah so roof pairs, you know, are, are significant like that, that they were working together to create the circuit, right? The flow, yeah. flow path. Yeah. And that also uh, is a good DIY, you know, project for, for you know, for those who want to, just who like the Chinese, right? Yeah. Greenhouse over here, you know, but uh, <laughs> but then we, we can give them a suggestion, you know, you, you know, you, even that, right? Even you don't want to use the, our, you know, our new structure and this yeah. could still work. Yeah. yeah be, because people just have bias and they might think, oh, no, this is the best one. So fine. So use yeah, bubbles. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you know. It works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. All right. Okay. So we'll see you later. Yeah. Okay. See you. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep, uh, see you. Talking and see what we can make steps wow, after. Wow, that's oh, nice. I like it. I like it. Wow, this is. See you later. Yeah. Bubble blanket. <laughs> <laughs> wow.